Hey my friends, welcome to my Fall Into Faith series. This week's episode is three scary things about unbelief. But first, if you want some amazing content and motivational insights from yours truly, check out my website, CamilleBauer.com, and sign up for my newsletter. If you haven't signed up yet, what are you waiting for, girl? Check it out. Um, you can sign up for it on my website, CamilleBauer.com. If you are watching this on YouTube, you can like and subscribe to my channel if you're loving the content and um, the inspiration and relatability that you see or hear if you're listening to my podcast. But anyway, on to it. Three scary things about unbelief, especially in this day and age. A lot of people are moving away from God, from faith, and it's really devastating and hard to be doing it yourself. For me personally, um, I was born and raised with a faith, and then once I got a, a cancer diagnosis with my with my spouse, um, everything really rocked my core and made me really think like, is everything that I believed my whole life true? And uh, I've had to do a lot of digging on my own, and I have felt what it's like in the darkness of unbelief. And then I've also felt the joy and the peace and the happiness that comes from our Savior Jesus Christ and having a belief in Him. I have lived both the dark and the light. And my passion is, if you've watched any of my stuff or listened to my episodes, is to help share that, the light of our Savior, the light of our Creator with those that maybe are in um, shade or darkness in their own life and they need to forge forward. So a scary thing about unbelief, one of the first one is a low self-image. You might think, oh, look at them. They're beautiful. They're talented. I got the, I didn't get those genetics. I don't look like that girl on, on Pinterest, Instagram. My house doesn't look like that. I, I'm a loser. And so many of us deal with self doubt and, um, think that something's wrong with us or we just weren't given the competitive edge that other people with better genetics have. But the thing, this, that's scary, right? It's scary to live like that, that you're just on this class level that really lucky people uh, are, are above class than you and there's no way you can move. You're just in this uh, back and forth. You can't go lateral. But if you have a belief in God, you know that you are created by the most magnificent amazing person being God, whatever energy you believe in, created you. You are incredible. If you're struggling um, with unbelief, if you're struggling struggling with a low self-image, know that you are divine, that you are royalty, that no matter um, what class you were born in or what stage of life you were born in, you're good enough just how you are. And you're no, nobody is better than you. Um, we're all equal to God. So um, low self-image is a problem. Also, number two, if you aren't believing and it's, it's scary, worry and fear is my second one. If you are living with unbelief, you're going to have a lot of worry. Uh, for me, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, battling a cancer diagnosis, facing a divorce after... Um, after losing him, remarrying, getting a divorce, you know, having that worry, like, what am I going to do? And I don't know how to make it work. And, you know, me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a planner. Like I love to check boxes. I love to have plans and know this is what I'm going to do. And cancer completely, um, rocked my world on that. But even, you know, going through a divorce, the worry and the fear and, um, especially being a single mom, you know, and everything that that encapsulates, not knowing what you're doing or where you're going generates worry and fear. But if you have a belief in God, you know what you're supposed to be doing, or if you don't, you can get peace 
in your heart and in your mind if you go to God in prayer. In the Doctrine and Covenants, section 8, verse 2, it says, Yea, behold, I will tell you in your mind and in your heart by the Holy Ghost, which shall come upon you and which shall dwell in your heart. So when you have belief, you can have peace and not uh, fear and worry because you're putting it up to God and you're following um, his footsteps like we like I talked about last week in the verse from Psalms how his words are like um, a lamp a, a lantern shining on your path you know um, have have that have that confidence in yourself and in God that he won't lead you astray and there won't be the worry and fear in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 and if you have followed me uh, you know, this is seriously one of my very favorite scriptures. It is at my house, on my fridge, and I love it. It has pulled me through um, a lot of dark days. And um, he says, Have not I commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And how can you have worry and fear when you believe that? And I know some people are, you know, struggling with their belief, but put God to the test. You know, we kind of talked about faith last week as a seed, right? You put it in the ground, cover it with dirt, come by 30 minutes later and you're like, I don't, what? It's not growing. I, walk away. You know, that's, that was a waste, but you have to be patient with God and you have to be patient with your faith and just keep nurturing it and I promise you will see it grow. The third scary thing about unbelief is self-doubt, right? We question ourselves. We question uh, our worth. We question our actions. We question our path in life. Um, in Luke, the good book, chapter 1, verse 37, he says, For nothing will be impossible with God. And that in and of itself has a period on the end. Like anything that you come up against, you can get through if you have a belief in God. And I know you, you've seen people get through hard things that don't have a belief. And then you see people that get through things and they have a belief. And I, I've analyzed it and watched it and I've seen the difference. Um, having a belief in your creator, having a belief in your God gives you uh, assurance and certainty and peace and helps dispel the darkness and the despair and the brokenheartedness. You know, our Savior Jesus Christ suffered for all of our sins. And for me, when I was little, I thought, oh, okay, it's just the bad things that I do. Because of Jesus, I can go repent. And that's true. But because of our Savior Jesus Christ, he also suffered our um, sorrows and our, um, sacri uh, our um, he knows how a broken heart feels. Our sacrifice, um, the betrayal, the hurt, the heartache, um, the desperation. And he understands that all. And he, that, if you go to him, that helps. If you believe in him, it helps that piece, which I didn't quite fully understand the scope of that until I was in that dark place where um there it was undeniable that God was there for me so so many times um I chose to live in the dark off and on and be mad and um push away uh, but those times in my life starkly contrasted with when I relied on God and um I had more peace and comfort even when life got worse and was falling apart and my joy and happiness is to inspire you to not have the uncertainty and the scariness of life with unbelief, but believe in God. Because as one of my very favorite movies is Count of Monte Cristo with Jim Caviezel. Um, the saint in there, right? Uh, if you haven't seen it, go see the show. But um, the one of my favorite lines is, um, and he says, I don't believe in God. And the the saint says back to him, you know, um, but he believes in you. That doesn't matter. He believes in you. 
And that's what I want to leave you with today is if you're struggling with your belief, keep nurturing and watering your seed of faith and you're going to see it grow and believe in God. And no matter what you're going through, you can get through it and you are divine and incredible and amazing. And I love you. And I can't wait to talk to you next week.